Hey everybody, so this is a response video to a previous video that was created uh, that was pertaining into making your Android run faster. So one of the things that I showed you guys was you were able to go into your menu and settings, go into the developer options, turn it on, then scroll down, you'll be able to see the, the window animation scale, transition animation, animation scale, and then also the animator duration scale. So what this does is it actually makes it to where you go from screen to screen without the little transition effect, which will make your Android run just a little bit quicker. And one thing that you may have noticed if you have a specific carrier or two, when you try to actually delete one of your home screens, it'll actually come up with an error. So this is one thing that came to my attention and I do want to make a response video so then if any of you guys did do this, this is how you fix it. Um, or why it's happening. It's because you did this. And so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go back to the home. When I go into my menu and settings, this is where number one, you can just restart your phone after you've turned off the developer options. And when you restart it, it'll put it back into normal. Then you'll be able to um, delete your you know, home screens and things like that, or go into the application manager, go back into the all applications, scroll all the way down to touch whiz, because technically what you're messing up, or what I, you know, kind of messed up, is the touch whiz home. So find touch whiz home, touch it, go to the clear data, hit OK, and now you just cleared everything that was technically kind of saved onto the RAM of the device. And now when you look back at it, it's, it's looking like normal. And now I'm heading back into, and now I can delete my home screens if needed.